The purpose of this recording is to demonstrate how to put together a net present value profile using Excel. And consider these two projects, Project A and Project B. What we'd like to do is create the net present value profile of these two projects. What we'll do is set up a column dedicated to the discount rate and a column dedicated to the net present value of project A and one for net present value project B. So we'll get these all set up and ready to go. Now in the discount rate we're going to start with 0%. 0% is if there's no time value of money. So we'll start that as a base case and we're going to go from there and start with the adding percentages here. And go down for a few of these so you can get the picture. And I'm just going to make it a percentage simply with no decimal places. Alright, so we've got the discount rate ready to go. Now we need the net present value of each project. Now the way we do this is to use the net present value function. Now the rate is going to be whatever's in the left column there. That's F14. And I'm going to go ahead and lock in the F. The reason for doing that is I want to lock it in so I can then copy this to the next column over. I do not want to lock in this row number because we want that to change as we work down to the other discount rates. Then what I'm going to do is indicate where the values are found for project A, close this out, and then add the initial outlay, and I've got my net present value. Now when I look at this, what I'm going to do is lock these in using the F4 key because these don't change. The only thing that will change as you go from one row to the next is going to be the discount rate. So I've locked that in and so if I copy that the other values you can see it goes from positive 25,000 to negative 25,000. Now let's go ahead and see what that means for B. If I were to copy this over directly I've locked in unfortunately that B I want this to be C to indicate project B C and C. So what this means is I use the discount rate that is in column F in that particular row. Then I use the positive inflows from C7 through C11. And then I add the outlay, which is in C6. That gives me 40000 And then I'm going to go ahead and double click on the corner there to bring it down. So now I've got the net present values for both projects for different discount rates. Now if I'd like to graph that so I can see what the profile looks like, I'm going to take these values, insert, and I'm going to use a line chart which works well for this. And I'm going to move it up here out of the way so we can see what's going on. And let me spruce this up a bit so that we can understand what is in the different values. What we're going to do is we're going to select the discount rates that correspond to each of these net present values. And then we're going to actually format the horizontal axis and take away tick marks and then put this low. And low will mean that the discount rates are shown at the bottom here. Let's go ahead while we're here and take care of a few niceties here. Horizontal axis is the discount rate. The vertical axis is the net present value. Going to go ahead and also get rid of the grid line just so we have fewer distractions. So now we've got the net present value profile. So that is the profile. Now if we would like to find out 
where this crossover point is, that is, where these two projects intersect. Crossover point is the discount rate at which the net present values of the two projects are the same. It is basically where the decision changes. For example, to the left of the crossover point, we prefer project B. To the right of the crossover point, until we hit the zero net present value horizontal line, we prefer project A. Of course, for discount rates above that, we of course do not like any pro either of these projects because they're both negative. To calculate the crossover rate, what we need to do is put in a column of differences. What we're going to do is subtract one cell from the other going across. So we can make that equal B6 minus C6. And then we can copy that downward. Now this may look a little strange, but these are the differences in the cash flows. The crossover rate is the internal rate of return that causes this to be equal to net present value of this to be equal to zero, and that is going to be around 6%, more precisely 5.669%, which is right here. So that is the crossover point. So now we have the net present value profile for discount rates from 0 to 20%. We see that for discount rates below 5.669%, we prefer project B. For discount rates between 5.669 and wherever the whatever is the internal rate of return of project A, we prefer project A. So we can actually get that rate the internal rate of return of project A and of B. So for discount rates above 7.931, which would be right along here, then both projects are not attractive. Because remember, the internal rate of return is the rate at which the net present values are equal to zero. So any rate above that, the net present value would be negative. Now that's it.